I lost my man card today. What? Was not able to punch a hole through that wall. Previously. It's really fun to see the trailer like this. Feel like a big sled. Doesn't that impress you, though? Yeah, that, that, I'm, that I'm, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I mean, I'm ridiculously I impressed. I you to do that to any other. I, I, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I would never dare. Uh, 9 bolts. 9 bolts. Look how big those are. Yeah. Okay. Heavy duty. There's eight of them. Eight, eight, eight per bolt. Oh, and so they go to the frame. They go directly to the frame. Directly to the frame. Yep. Oh, yeah, that goes like, drops down, doesn't it? Yep. Hey, go ahead, guys. That bumper looks so cool. Oh, it is. So much and cooler is, than that little square bumper with it. It is durable. I mean, there, you're not denting that. Well, that I thing. guess, depending how, how hard you ran into a cliff, I guess, but. I mean, it's so high mm -hmm. that I don't even think you're ever gonna. That's super, super robust. Should uh, get up top to at some point. Mm -hmm. sure it, everything's progressing along, mm -hmm. and now you got the walls and the roof mm -hmm. and everything. And so, is this this is the point where they start putting solar panels? Yes. So we'll do our roof rack, our complete roof rack, and then we'll do the six solar panels, skylights, AC, everything on top it gets done right beside our mez here, and uh, everything gets hooked up. We'll recheck everything in a later PDI station, but everything gets hooked up here. Solar panel, 600 watts. 600 watts. Yep, 600 yeah. watts of solar. They're, they're six 100 watt panels. Yes, yeah, six 100 watt panels. Yes. Okay. That's really cool. And then mm -hmm. the the actual the cargo. The I love these little pause emblems that you mm -hmm. CNC on them. Mm -hmm. What what it, like, you're not mounting stuff really up on those, are you? Too much? Not as of now. No, I know in the future we had talked about being like, making that capable, but with the solar panels on top, we have not made that step to actually making rack for that it's back there so. yep no it's uh right now it's mostly solar panels up there there's not much extra room and right. then on on the front end we'll have uh well halfway up on the fr first or the second bend i guess i should say there's a wind guard for your front windows and then all the way at top we have another wind guard for your solar panels so the wind smoothly runs over the top okay that's really mm -hmm. cool to actually so that yeah it makes it a little bit more air right then yeah mm -hmm. and basically just keeps the pressure off your solar panels uh debris flying kind of swoops it up above oh, so yeah, where the light bar bracket oh, is attached it's kind of it's more or less at an angle to kind of prevent the wind do you from see the light directly. so the light bar bracket is actually it's on a wind guard like mm -hmm. that's a slanted mm -hmm. slope where the the light bar is mounted to in the camera mm -hmm. and so that actually it creates like an aerodynamic uh, we, I mean, we've had solar panels fly off the roof, mm -hmm. just like flat roofs, you know, where yep. the wind mm -hmm. catches them over time and rips them off. So that makes a lot of sense to just create. There's so many things mounted up there when you're driving mm -hmm. down, you know, going to It just to makes it nice and smooth. So. Yeah, that makes sense. That's really cool. Yeah. I didn't even notice that before. Seems obvious, but. <laughs> yeah, know? no. Yep. And plus it's a nice look, so. But it, it, it looks mm -hmm. nicer, but you'd be surprised you don't usually see stuff like that no. right yep most trailers are just flat right up there and they just, just put the stuff. solar panels on top and yeah. screw it down so usually it's okay but every once in a while you have, have that have those enough wind you know mm. this is the what the, are we call our pdi pdi station where we do all our systems checks and we do our uh, inspection process here as well so our PDI guy will go through and do 30 and 100 pound tests on our water lines. Okay. And so do. You already did that over there. Okay. So we go through and do the check again, basically what they did back there to make sure no screws, nothing got damaged on the way up here to yeah. final. So we'll do the water line tests and then we'll do the flood tests and fill the tanks completely up past the tank level 
into the shower and into the toilet. Oh, wow. So past the floor. Oh, wow. And we set up 15 minutes. Let that set. Make sure, go around, check all the HEPA valves. Um, make sure there are no leaks anywhere. Then we'll drain it out. And then we'll do the flow test as well. Okay. Also filling each sink up. Yeah. And then making sure the, dr uh, the drain plugs work. Okay. Before draining that out. We also do the inspection here. So he'll go through and adjust all the doors and then check out cabinets, do kind of overview inspection of the unit. And then uh, he'll repair what he can repair. If there's something major or repetitive, he'll get a hold of the assistant plant manager or myself and then we can take care of that, make sure that is not a continuous problem. But it so. seems like it seems like you're doing all that when they do the plumbing, mm -hmm. but it comes all the way through and it gets done again. Yeah. And then that's pretty cool. It really minimizes the rework process up here yeah. um, I mean the philosophy is to have no rework at all yeah um, inspect the coaches where they're at where it's getting done where it's getting done uh, correcting and uh, making sure it just gets done correctly from the first the first day. time yeah, yeah. yeah first but day. no matter what we'll still have a PDI station no matter yeah. what <laughs> no matter how perfect we are so yeah and then even even the dealers it's the documents that you guys yeah, are giving absolutely. us it's pretty thorough mm -hmm. in depth and we're supposed to do it again right mm -hmm. and we do we mm -hmm. do very thorough yeah. we're very thorough I know all, not all dealers are but yeah. we are so but and once it leaves here actually out of this plant we'll go next door and uh, in our CI building and it gets it done all over again Oh, does it? So, has a whole um, other yeah, process? Another oh. process on that. Do you have so. somebody, do you do that one over there or somebody? Uh, we there? actually have somebody else that takes care of that, then we get a report. Okay. So on everything. Wow. And then if everything gets brought back to this plant where if they find anything at all, and that's uh, quality as well, it comes back to this plant and then we, me or my assistant will walk it personally and yeah. get that addressed. Oh, wow. It goes out the door, so. Wow, that's a lot of it's, uh, it's a lot of time, but we can only get better, right? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's very cool. So great. I'll have you do a uh, gas check real quick and we can do a burn off. You guys like working for Maynard? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I guess you work for Maynard technically at the Puma. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> you know, not directly. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's definitely, uh, it's, a, it's a great guy to work with and work for. Yeah. 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 He seems like a nice, everybody just seems to like him a lot. Yep. And he challenges you to do better and better, and and he helps you he's very get better and better. And yeah. he helps you, mm -hmm. yeah. And this leadership that he's brought in is just uh, it's just a game changer, to be honest with you. Yeah, changing the culture. Uh, it's been great. It's been a process, but it's been great. Okay, so uh, this is actually our gauge. Okay. That he has hooked up here. So we'll set it up to eight inches of water column. You can do it in uh, a PCI as well, but this is the standard way, eight inches of water column, and we hold it for three minutes. Okay. And this, this gauge will drop down, even the slightest leak will drop this down. Oh, it will drop down. Yeah, okay. And then we'll set it for three minutes, if it's all good, then we'll release the air, and then we put the propane in and do the burn off, make sure everything's good on that. So our process, if anything gets done to the, the gas line at all, let's say we change out an appliance or we reroute the gas line or something, we do another check. Yeah. Just, it always has to be another you check. You always have to yeah, check do another it. check, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yep. Okay. So, you want to go ahead and hook up yeah, the, I'll do a burn off. They turned everything off except for that one. Now I turn off the propane, so whatever residual propane is in there gets burned off. Okay. Huh. That way we don't have any propane left in there. Okay. okay. Okay, now they're gonna be doing the bubble test. I hear this makes you bubbly. <laughs> it makes it makes Dylan bubbly. It makes them feel so good. <laughs> it makes them feel so good inside. Look at this. This is really cool. So they have this massive fan here that pumps a bunch of air in there. Oh, Shane, one more thing. I'd like to mention this. It's closed now. When we opened up, I'm not sure if you noticed. We put a magnet on here. Okay. So you can actually hook this up to the griddle, magnet this thing to the side so you can open up your drawer. Nobody's oh, okay. running over it. It's not just hanging out over here. Okay. So, so what, get all the car doors closed? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, that put some wind in there, huh? It pushes, pushes away yeah. like that. Go ahead and spray a little. What is this supposed to get to usually? Uh, we do about 0.5 inches of water column. Okay. Pressure. So basically, we just balloon everything in the in the uh, unit and uh, 
and anywhere possible air comes out, yeah, we know where it's at, and we can go through and make sure that seal gets taken care of. Okay, that's really cool. So he's spraying. We do we do a soap water across it. Yeah. yeah. That's super done. cool. Yeah. Maybe when you push it. It's a good way to clean you clean your paws down, yeah. So our final inspection here, we actually have one person focusing on this last station and there really isn't much that he does except for recheck everything. Um, okay. So we just got done with PDI checking everything, so we just do another rechecking. Mostly he'll, he'll go through, torque all the wheels, make sure we're good. Okay. So we actually torque wheels and floors, midline, PDI, and then before it goes out the door, and then we actually do it when we set unit out for transport, just okay. to make sure nothing happened. So like they've checked the torque, the lugs, so, three or four, three times at least, Yeah, right? at least three times. We actually do wow. five times by the time it goes on the road, but we do four times in here. Oh, wow. So and last then, thing we do is just to make sure the wheels stay on yeah. While going down the road. So Yeah, that's a, um, that's like the worst one go ahead will fall off. It's one of the worst things. Yeah, it have. really is. Yeah. What do you torque it to? Uh, 110. 110. 110, yep. So our our standard is 100 to 120, so we just go 110 on the center. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. And he checks everything, not just lugs here. What is he? Yeah, he goes through and basically, so our, actually I forgot to mention, this last station we'll have two people go in and we wipe all the cabinets down, we mop the floors, we do a complete cleaning and put all our stickers on. Okay. Uh, as in warning stickers, LP, oh, okay. Quick Connects, yeah. you know, yeah. all that. And then it rolls up the next day, the same two people after, he'll, he'll go through and with, uh, we have a QC coming over from next door as well, just helping us. Yeah. And Gerald, my assistant plan manager, and myself, if I, if I get around to it as well, we'll do our inspection. In yeah. this coach in the morning or the night before or after everybody's done yeah we'll go through and we we'll take some here and there and then we'll we'll have him take care of the you know clean this corner a little bit clean that then we'll bring up everybody else that we need to to uh, get get the main repairs taken care of or repetitive issues or things we found okay. to make sure we can walk the line back and get everything fixed figure it out yeah so we but look, basically what's, we just what's his name uh, this is Kevin Miller, actually. Kevin Miller. Yes. So now so. I know who to be mad yeah. at if yeah. we ever... Yeah, call Kevin. I'll, I'll shoot you his number. <laughs> if we ever have any issues, I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to call him. Can I get Kevin on the phone? Uh, Kevin! I'll remember to send Kevin! it that way. Kevin! So. No, he, he just spends a lot of time making sure every cabinet's opened up, nothing's missed. Yeah. Um, so many times we get caught up into a cycle and we miss uh, checking a cargo door or yeah, yeah, a cabinet yeah. door. So That makes sense. Um, and then we'll, he'll weigh it, we'll high pot the unit. Uh, pull it outside. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's it might not be the hardest job, but it's uh, it's a very important job in my book. Yeah. Is to have to finalize on it. So. Yeah, for sure. Uh, right now, me or Gerald, myself, will do the final walk with him. Still, we're just getting started. So. Okay. Maybe our standards are too high, but we gotta we like to keep an eye on it. So. Yeah. Yeah. You need to. We're working on it. What are these stickers? What are that? Oh, uh, the tape. Sorry. Yeah, the tape. So underneath here, we want to clean that butyl up there. So it says butyl messy. Underneath the, uh, sorry, the rack there on the okay. awning. Just a little just sticking out, I like to scrape that down. Sometimes they put it on correctly, it'll ooze out just a little bit, yeah, you know, yeah, after yeah, a day. Yeah, so we'd like to clean that oh, up. Oh, so these are just arrows and right. Oh, sorry, yeah, we're just arrows to where to check out. I guess there's something in here. Uh, I'm gonna clean that a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. Seal void, okay. Yeah, seal. okay. Seal void. These are actually our scales. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now I see why when I was like those scuffs on the bash bars, you were like, "There's no way that was us." <laughs> now I see. Now I see why you're th you're being very thorough. Yeah. I'm like, no. And, and I assure you, nobody can be perfect, but the more we check it, the closer we, we can get. We, so listen, we try so hard. We work so hard. Our PDIs. I I feel like we do a more thorough PDI than any dealer in America, mm -hmm. and we miss things like. It's, it's you, you always it's, it's just, a process, but uh, there's I, I, I swear there's never a walk there. It feels like every week we do a walkthrough and it's like, wow, how did we miss that? Add that to the mm -hmm. PDI, add mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? So you're always, if you're not improving, I mean, yeah, no, mostly I mean, I can walk a coach and I can spend an hour in there just checking everything and he can come behind me and he can still find stuff. Fine. I mean, oh, yeah, uh, and I think the more 
checks we have through the line, you're going to miss Better. something. We're just hoping we can catch it on the next catch one. It, yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Well, it's like I, I, I like to remind people. I'm like, listen, NASA has the greatest scientists, engineers building their stuff, mm -hmm. and they still explode. Right? Yeah, and they're exactly. still yep. catastrophic failures and on spacecrafts, right? Yeah. Well, they're like, supposed to be smart, right? Yeah, they're no. supposed to be the smartest people in the world. I mean, <laughs> you're literally a rocket scientist, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And yeah. There's still things that happen. So, mm -hmm. but, but, it, but there's definitely you, you sense the feeling of like care and passion and and this this you guys are being very thorough. You mm -hmm. know, checking it and rechecking it and rechecking it. And any of the issues that we've had on any of the units, it's been. I don't know, we just tell Maynard and he's like, ship it back, we'll fix it. And I'm like, no, 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 just tell us, like, just send us the part, we can fix it, right? Like, yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? He just is yep. really like, 100%. and yeah. I can tell he gets so worked up by like, how did that even happen? There's no way that could have, you know? So, I mean, we were arguing back and forth. There's no way we could have let that come through <laughs> missed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's, that's just because you care and you're so mm -hmm. passionate. It's, it's very, uh, What's, what's the word? Prevalent. Prevalent, yeah, I'm seeing it. It's very, it's very nice word there. Yeah, prevalent. He's Coming from Dylan, it's hard, it's hard to believe. Fancy. Oh, it doesn't take a rocket science? Doesn't okay. take a rocket yeah. science. Uh -huh. to know yeah, that word. Right, right on. Word. Makes perfect sense. Word. Yeah, yeah. You know, right apparent, I can see it in every way. Right on. Well, awesome. now we're nice. going to. Are we going to head over there? C -A -I -A. Yeah, C A I. C A I. So Randy's going to. B I N. B I N G O. And Bingo was his name. Oh. Well, hi Shane, Randy. Randy, nice to meet you. Stephanie. Hello, nice to meet you. Me too. So you, this is, what is this area that we're in now? This will be our uh, CAI line. Um, all the units that produce that pause is run through the line here and we do a 110 point inspection okay. of the unit. We uh, inspect everything that would been inspected online. We just double check uh, just to make for sure that everything's the way it should be. As far as I, I'm, as, so I've been going through it and this seems more like a triple or quadruple check from in there to here. Yeah. Uh, once again, right? Yes. Whatever they're checking over there, we check again. Again. Yes. Again. So because they've checked it multiple times, I feel like. So this is multiple very spots down the line. Yeah, right as it's here. coming through. Yeah. And what is C? What is CAI? Sorry. Customers Assurance Inspection. Okay, that's yeah. what, good. Yeah. So you guys are like the final full PDI. Yes. You, how many points did you say it was? Uh, One hundred and ten. Okay. And then it can be more than that. Like if if we do end up finding an issue, then we. We check other things to find out what to make sure make sure that you know okay. what the problem was and how to correct the problem. Oh, that's awesome! And so you have uh, how long does the process usually take? Hopefully, if there's no uh, between problem. 45 minutes to an hour, I would say. Yeah, you go through the whole thing. Yeah, and mm -hmm. assuming there's no issues. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. And if there's issues, typically, what's uh, we do like the small repairs, but if there's a a bigger repair that we'd send it back to the plant for them to do, which is okay. very we seldom. Do, like, but all the diagnostics on it, okay. on our end, and then they go from there with it. Okay. So, like, essentially, what what things do you check? Like a hundred? It's like it sounds like everything. But yeah, go. we'd bring it in, and first thing we do, we we would check all the the lights on the outside, and we check the brakes, the breakaway cable, okay. and then um, we check the the satellite oh, antennas, you know, all that. Anything on the outside, we would check first, mm -hmm. and then uh, then we high pot it, do the electrical high pot 110 test on it. Then she would do the, the uh, fresh water testing. Yep. It's done um, in that station. And then your black and gray tanks, seal tech, make sure there's no water leak or intrusion. Seal tech is where you put a blower to the machine, and then basically. You Spray it down with soapy water. If it bubbles, you have risk of water intrusion. So okay. that helps to eliminate any water intrusion that we could find. So this is this is the thing that makes you bubbly. Is that what you said? I get all bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Then then we'd also check the Garmin and all the Garmin stuff at that point too. Then. So so that water test they checked it like literally two spots ago. They, the, so they did that whole thing there, and then it comes in, and they do it. We do it another, another one. Time. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's incredible. I'm surprised that there's ever a sing any issues once it leaves here. Yeah, there's something wrong with you, Shane. You know where to come, right? <laughs> yeah, so wait, wait. It's it's better it's than Randy, the Randy, dogs. right? Randy, Randy yes. Randy and Seth. Yeah. So that's that's why I call if we ever have an issue. I mean, I could just call. Can I get Randy and Seth <laughs> on the phone? <laughs> now we know. Now we know who's, uh, but I mean, we dig 
we dig deep into it. I mean, we are taking apart like stuff that we check here is a little deeper than what's over there. We take apart electrical recepts. We take apart the converter. Oh. So we're not just doing using a recept checker. We're actually disassembling and reassembling, make sure everything is correctly done. Oh wow, that's incredible. That's actually really, really impressive. It's really nice here. And then it and then it's and as long as everything checks okay, it's ready for delivery. Correct. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Really but nice meeting you guys. Yeah, nice meeting yeah. you too. Yes. Nice to meet you. Our purpose was when we developed this building was not just develop a new product, we wanted to develop whole new processes. Yeah. Because, I mean, everybody has a bad rap about going to an RV factory. That yeah. It, it sucks. Yeah. So we want to get rid of that mentality and create a place where they enjoy coming. Like the process, the, the culture. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mostly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, super, super yeah. important. It's, it's all about that. We're about the culture and, and our unit. We're, We're not. So, we don't want to just develop a new unit. We want to develop a whole new process of doing it. If I, I, and a whole new thought process, yeah. you know, with people. If you're studying any company oh. in the marketplace, the companies that are the biggest, the most innovative, the most mm. like kind of changing the industry, they culture is huge. Yeah. And I think that's something the RV industry is kind of notorious for not being good at. Welcome to ROA Off-Road's Top 10 Plays. Coming in at number 10, we have this flashy hammer spin. Check that out, isn't that beautiful? At number 9, we have this perfect placement with the epoxy. Really impressive coordination to pull that off. At number 8, that's a wrap for the competition. Silky smooth moves. Exactly. Flawless. At number 7 is bringing down the hammer. Slam that down with authority. And just wow. At number 6, we're heating up. Great vision and diligence in testing the propane. At number five, a great team play here, everyone pitching in. Now that's what the game's all about. Couldn't have said it better myself. At number four, he's cutting it down to the wire. Beautiful display of skill here. Amazing. At number three, now you see me, now you don't. Such a great fake to lose the camera guy. At number two, we take a ride in the spin cycle. With the drill behind the legs, just amazing. Absolutely. And at number one, we have an amazing behind the back drill pass. Finds his man and gets the job done. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely. Thanks for watching ROA's Top 10 Plays. We'll see you next time. Why did we choose Victron? Shane yeah. told me it's the best on the market, and we want it the best of the best. You agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. So.